right, this is color chart. Um, this is our first color chart, and um, we're going to talk about mixing colors today. Um, there's a good way of doing it and kind of a bad way of doing it. We'll talk about how to mix colors properly. And um, so far, if you have the color chart in front of you, you can see that there's all these different boxes, and um, they're labeled with the different colors that you want to fill in uh, into each box. So, so far, like Y is yellow, B is blue, R is red, and then I'm guessing you tell this is red orange, this is orange, this is yellow orange, okay? Um, so far, I've set up my palette with red, with red, blue, and yellow, my primary colors, and I can make all of my secondary and tertiary colors just from those three, so I'll show you how to do that. And um, if you could see, there's um, lots of boxes that are labeled the same thing. So I have orange here, and I also have orange here. Um, I have yellow orange here, and I also have yellow orange right there. So when you mix orange, you can go ahead and fill it in here, and then fill it in there, um, which we'll actually start with that. So what we're going to do, we already filled in our um, primary colors, because that's simple. We just squirted out the paint and then filled it into the box, no problem. Um, so now we'll move on to our secondary colors, and you can see we have our primary colors right here, and then our secondary colors, it labels it for us. Um, in case you forgot, over break, orange, violet and green okay so why don't we start with orange um, and i'm going to get my paint palette out i have my brush i have some good paper towel it's very important and then i have um some water which is really important as well because we don't want to contaminate our paint now i said i was going to do orange and if you could remember yellow and red will make orange and there's a specific way of going about this okay so let me show you what happens if i start with um, the darker color first. So in between these two colors, I'm like, hey, I think I'll start with red. So I take some red over to the side, okay, and I'm like, hey, good, great, I'm halfway there to making some orange. And then I take my lighter color, yellow, okay, and I mix it into my red, okay. So you can see there wasn't that big of a change. It really didn't even change at all. Um, and that's because um, our lighter colors are weaker colors. They are much more easily manipulated and changed um, than our darker colors. Our darker colors are harder to change. So when we're mixing two colors together, we always want to start with our light color first. So this time I'll start with some yellow. I'll make like a little pile of it. Okay. Clean out and wipe off. All right, now I'll just do a small little dab of red. See how quickly it changes. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we have a pretty good orange going on. That'll work. Okay, so I can take this and fill in. My orange spot. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Now, um, so that's how you do a secondary color, um, and I wanna. I don't want to take too long on this. Um, I don't want to bore you. Um, we're going to move on to a tertiary color. By the way, I already did orange there. I can just fill it in right there. Use more of my orange paint that I mixed and just fill it in right there so it's nice and fast. So what I'll do is I will move to a tertiary color. Let's do, since we already have orange, we'll do yellow orange. Okay. Now, the key thing to remember again is we're not going to start with a darker color. We're going to start with a lighter color. So in order to make yellow orange, I need to mix yellow with some orange. Which one is lighter? Yellow is looking a lot lighter to me these days, so again, I take a little bit of yellow, put it off to the side. I don't mix it in here because then I'll have contaminated my yellow, which is not smart. Okay, clean off, and I take a little dab of orange, I mix it in there, and it's just a slight adjustment. But now my yellow isn't so yellow anymore. You can see it's, hopefully you can see it's changed a little bit. And you know what, I actually want a little bit more of a change. I feel like I need a little bit more orange. And you have to trust and like gauge and see with your own eye. There you go. 
go. That looks a little bit better to me. That looks like nice yellow orange. I could throw that on a grilled cheese sandwich and go, which color is it, yellow or orange? I can't tell because it's both. Okay. And then fill in my yellow orange spot. And just so you can see the difference, you should be able to see a clear distinction between orange, yellow, orange, and pure yellow. Okay, there you go. So you can see this one gets slightly darker than that one. Okay, so you do this for all of your little spaces. I have yellow, orange here. I got yellow, orange right there. So I could fill it in two at a time. Now, um, so there's some kind of strange, funky things happening over here. So I better explain some of these things to you. Um, so here, this is not asking you to um, mix any colors particular. It just asks you for a primary color and a tertiary color um, within the same family. Um, so we can create even more colors. So we'll make an intermediate color. Because so far we have primary colors, secondary colors, uh, tertiary colors and then the fourth category would be even more in between colors would be an intermediate color so this is asking you to see what it would be like so I already filled in red as a primary color and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a tertiary color in the same family so I'm gonna go over to red which it looks like red would be uh, in this area um, because I have uh, like the red oranges and um, or like over here red would be between red orange and red violet so I'm gonna take my primary color and mix it with one of my tertiary colors so I will take it and mix red with some red orange okay so actually first I'm gonna have to make some red orange that's okay because I have some orange right there like a teeny tiny bit of red orange and um, I know you can add more water to that to kind of get more life out of it, but try not to add too much. Because then it'll be really watery and thin and bleh. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix red with some red orange. So in this case, oh wait, let me fill in my tertiary color right there. Ah, I'm running out. I'm gonna have to make some more. Okay, there's some more red orange. And then, um, I'll take some of this and mix it with just plain old red and hopefully get an intermediate color. So take some, put it to the side. And get a little bit of red in there. And it's just changed slightly. Just make it even a little bit more red. Actually, get to Dan to take another little bit. And we'll create like we have red, red, orange, and then we have like red, red, orange, basically. Okay. Now, same thing over here. I think the video's gone on long enough, and I don't want to bore you anymore. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a secondary color and a tertiary color, and you'll make another intermediate color. So you just need to make sure that it's in the same family. So, for example, I can take a secondary color like green, and then mix it with a tertiary color in the same family. So I can do green plus green blue or green yellow. And then it'll make another intermediate color right there. Okay, so it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, it's literally the equations right there. Take a secondary color and a tertiary color and mix together. You'll get an intermediate color. Just make sure they're within the same family. Thanks for watching.